right, this is Carl Two Eyes Shimkin MMA All Out. I'm with George Gurgel. I do guys. Very good, thank you. George, one of the uh, old guard in MMA. How long have you been doing right? 11 years. 11 years. I never thought, I, I, I stopped, I stopped, uh, I hate talking about this. Usually, nobody can say, like, I would like to fight that kid in the morning. I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm 33 now and I've been fighting for 11 years, so definitely a veteran, I guess. Let me ask you about tonight's fight. Sorry. First, by the way, and we'll get her later, first female champion in Bellator history, 115 pounds. And it was an upset. She beat Fuji, Megumi Fuji. And let me ask you this, were you a little surprised that Megumi didn't try more takedowns? I, I was, I was, but I figured it out really quick. It was a good question, actually. Um, I thought she was going to shoot right off the bat, right off the bat. So I told Zoya to stay real low. Uh, I noticed soon, that. She yeah, she was way. real, real low. As soon as the first minute and a half, two minutes of the fight went down, I realized Fuji's game plan. You know, her, her game plan was very. Fuji lost the fight because she was greedy and cocky, honestly. Really? But yeah, Fuji's 22 and 0. <laughs> She's been criticized in the past for not having tough enough competitions. So it was a first world title belt chance. She's had many, many uh, grappling tournaments. She's won many. You know, she's 22 and 0 and has never done before. So she figures, she, that's what that's my line of thought. She figures, well, I'm gonna fight the best female striker, you know, that I can possibly fight. And people don't give me enough credit for being 22 and 0. So I'm gonna fight her. And I'm gonna beat her own game. So Fuji came to box Zola. She really thought she could strike the Zola. Within the first minute and a half of the fight, I told Zola she wants to box her. She has to box her, box her back. And uh, after that, uh, Zola won the first round, rocked her. The second round came around, I'm like, she's gonna try to pick her down. The second round came, she came with the same game plan. She wanted to box Zola. So I told Zola, it's your fight take. She wants to strike you. She wanted to beat Zoila at her own game to prove to the world and to everybody that she is the undisputed pound for pound best female fighter in the world. Uh, it backfired. If she if she had stuck to jujitsu and her game play in wrestling, she would have had a way better chance of, of solidifying her place as an undefeated champion. But uh, she, she 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 chose the wrong game plan against the wrong opponent, and now we have uh, we have a little champion. Absolutely, a great champion. Yes. But that begs the question, George. Okay. You are a great jujitsu. Uh, fight. Oh, here we go. There we go, because you're getting on Magumi. Uh, yeah. I'm saying, uh, you haven't submitted anyone for like four years. Yeah, I, I, I took, that's the first thing I told Zoila. I said, you know why you want to fight Zoila? Because Magumi Fuji got the George Gujar syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, the reason Zoila won is because Megumi Fuji tried to strike with the striker. You know, that's how I do my things. You know, I, I put on fights, I like to fight for the fans, I put on exciting fights, and, uh, and uh, Fuji tried to beat Zoila yes. on her own uh, game, and uh, the game plan that she developed was, was, was poor. And by the third round, when Fuji realized that she needed to take the fight to the round, was our desperation, and her lead leg was already hurt from Zoila's inside leg kicks. So I think that was effective. By the time she tried to, 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 to make up for the deficit, it was too late. She was too hurt to be. And do you think the South Park, I know she can't, you know, she's South Park, yes. she's getting hit with a lot of rights. Yes. So I went over that. Yeah. Uh, was that part of the game? Of course. You you you, you don't use a jab as a south boy. A jab is a right hand. You use a left uh, left hook and right cross. And uh, Zoila Zoila didn't fight the way I want. She gave, she gave me a lot better than she showed. She was not stepping with the right hand. And if you watch the fight again, she missed about 20 of them because she was just stepping with the punches. Uh, she connected a couple times, but uh, so Zoila has not shown her full potential yet. You know, it was just a great fight for her because Fuji chose the worst game plan possible to strike with, with Zoila and she paid for it. Do you think that was Part of her plan or Josh Barnett, who's training? I, I I don't like to make I tell, I don't right. I have no. enough information to make intelligent sure. comment about that. So uh, whoever I would say I always blame the trainer. Right. If I had a poor game plan for Zoilo, which is my fighter, it's my fault. You know, if uh, Fuji got cut and greedy enough to to prove to the world that she is an all around fighter, which she is an all around fighter, but she can strike. Zoilo hits like a man, you know, and uh, and she felt it today. So I don't know if it's Josh's fault or, or Fuji's fault or ego that finally hit. You know, everybody's got an ego sometimes that shows up, and it sh her ego showed up at the wrong day at the wrong time. It was early to stay at 115. I mean, she's a champ. I guess she has to. She doesn't have to do anything. Right. Uh, the the the, the weight cut is, is brutal to her. It's, a, it's hurting her kidneys a little bit. It's, it's really making her happy and uncomfortable. Uh, it's been very very tough. Uh, she's been living with me for a year, and I think I aged like four years. <laughs> you know, in the last eleven months, training her, getting her ready, is all worth it now. But uh, we're gonna establish at 120 and 125.
125, that seems like I, I want a 125, yeah. Better. If you want to see the best on the front, I'm 125. Yes. And last question, George, um, with you. What's up with you and your company? I am, uh, I'm as of right now, I'm waiting for, uh, for a strike force to give me a call. I uh, heard February. So, and uh, my uh, my manager's still in development, so I may, I may find a developer. And are we ever going to see George Kajel's great jiu jitsu ever again? Uh, I had a plan. I had a plan. This, I had a plan to take KJ Holmes down in the second round. I just didn't have a chance to go to the second round because, you know, it's an ongoing joke now. My Jim Morgan did knock me out, just ring a bell, and then punch me right after. <laughs> So, you know, I don't remember the second round. I got, I got, I got punished after, uh, immediately after the first round was over. I trained a lot of jiu-jitsu. I had a plan on, on using my jiu-jitsu. I just didn't have a chance to. So, uh, my next fight, I promise, I will try my best. On the plot. On the plot. That is George Gugero for Out Loud. Thanks for everything. Awesome. Thanks, Thank dude. You. Thank you.